up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you some cheap, inexpensive meal ideas from the Dollar Tree. Don't write them off quite yet. I know that the Dollar Tree is now $1.25, so some of the items that like years ago used to be like the best items ever to buy at the Dollar Tree are no longer the best because now they seem more expensive than the regular grocery store. But I found out a fun fact about Las Vegas yesterday. We are supposedly, according to this post, <laughs> we are the number two most expensive place to buy groceries in the country. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's false, but I saw this post and I thought, hmm, that's an interesting fun fact because people always comment on my videos and tell me how cheap our groceries are. I think it's all on how you shop and how you budget your money, how you kind of float around from store to store. But I'm gonna share with you some fun ideas from the Dollar Tree, some things I definitely think you should stock up on, and I'm gonna share with you some fun finds that I didn't purchase that if you find, I think you should purchase because they are like go-tos for me or just fun things that I feel like are a great price at the Dollar Tree. First, let's jump into my little grocery haul. I'll share with you what I got, and then we'll start the meal ideas and so on and so forth. I'm not gonna spoil the whole video. Come on, let's go. Okay, we're gonna talk nice and loud because I just started my dishwasher and I was like, oh no, I was gonna show you my Dollar Tree haul. So here's what I got. I'm only gonna make one meal today, but I will tell you what the other meals are. I did get an extra thin pizza crust. I really like these and for $1.25, if I refer to anything as a dollar, please know it's actually $1.25. For that cheap, totally worth it. I got two cans of these little mushrooms were actually such a good price compared to the regular grocery store. Two cans of olives. This huge box of pasta, which is 20 ounces. That's always like the best deal at the dollar store is pasta and rice and beans. So I try to get those every time I go there. This is also a really great price, this pizza sauce. Like tell me where you're ever gonna get a can, a jar of pizza sauce for $1.25 because I can't find it any, anywhere near here. These are sometimes 10 for 10 at our local store, but you have to buy 10 of them. And I'll be honest, I never wanna buy 10 of them. Otherwise they're $1.99 each. So this was a great price for the Dollar Tree. Noki was such a good price. They often have this in stock. I was gonna make the meal with this today, but I think I'm gonna instead do the penne, but I'll show you what I was gonna make with this. This was also something I found. I'm gonna share with you a little like hidden treasure find that I have here in a second, but I found this oat plant-based beverage. I will only do plant-based milks, even though I do eat a vegetarian diet. It's 20 calories per serving. I thought I'd give it a try out, let you know how it is. If you see it at your dollar store, they had almond, unsweetened, and almond vanilla as well. And then I also got these for a snack. Sometimes I'm just really in the mood for pretzels and these are the name brand Snyder's and it's a 10 ounce bag and that's actually a really good price for what they were. So I got these to just throw in the snack cupboard. They have nothing to do with today's meals, but I thought I'd share that with you because sometimes you can get name brand snacks for a great price. Even though the bag might be a little smaller than the regular grocery store, the price is usually really awesome. So often I'm craving a pizza and call me silly or strange, but I don't have to have cheese on my pizza. It just has to have a good red sauce. I love olives and mushrooms. So I thought this would be a really quick, easy lunch that I could make for myself. I would probably split it in two and I wouldn't use all the pizza sauce and I wouldn't use all the toppings. So I'm gonna save those and make another meal with them. But this is a super inexpensive like meal that takes less than five minutes to put together and super duper cheap. So yes, you could throw other things on top of this. You could throw some fresh veggies. You could throw some cheese. I'll eat it like this and I'll probably wrap it like a burrito and have like a burrito pizza esque style meal. With the leftovers that I was using for the pizza here, I would use probably like a third of this can, so I have a lot left over, maybe a third of each of these, I would make a potato gnocchi bowl. I would warm up some of this, top it with the pizza sauce, top it with the mushrooms and black olives, and just kind of have a different take on pizza. Obviously pizza and red sauce is something that I've been really enjoying lately, especially being pregnant. <laughs> but I thought this would be just a really fun way to switch it up. If you can find this gnocchi, I can, commend the Dollar Tree for having like a really inexpensive, good tasting gnocchi for that price. This one is worth stocking up on. The meal I'm making with you guys today is a pizza pasta and this is super inexpensive coming in at just a dollar per serving. But we're gonna throw this together right after I share with you some fun finds I found at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree I typically shop at is not very big. It only has two food aisles. I think it has technically four snack aisles, but it's not huge. It doesn't have a fridge or freezer section. If you want me to do another video with a fridge freezer section, let me know because there's tons of Dollar Trees in my area. Some fun finds that I definitely recommend are this almond 
milk. I actually went back the next day and got a few extra things. I got the almond milk unsweetened because I really like the oat unsweetened. Highly recommend. They're only $1.25 and they don't expire for me until April. And I feel like that's such a great price. Actually, it's April 2025. So I got a whole year on those. You can stock up on those and even add them to your like emergency pantry. These large pantry storage items I thought were awesome for the price. I did not get any this day, but I actually went back. If you are an egg eater, I feel like everybody on TikTok, Instagram is always doing like a fridge <laughs> container video. Th that was a container I really liked. And I actually really love these meal portion containers. Yes, they're plastic. This cupcake container I would have gotten had it been a 12 count, but it was a nine and it comes with a lid. I thought that was great, especially if you're someone who likes to bake. I actually am baking a cake this day, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. I like to get my coconut milk now at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes they have the full fat. This day, they only had the light, but for the price, it's actually the cheapest that I can find it next to Whole Foods. Whole Foods often will have it on sale. Shredded wheat, huge, huge box, and if you are vegan, this is vegan. I thought this was a great price. I feel like some things they have all the time, like the shredded wheat, and then sometimes they filter through just depending on what they get in. Also, dried fruit. I, in the beginning of my pregnancy, loved everything fruit, dried fruit, et cetera, but I was buying dried fruit at Whole Foods, and now I feel so silly for not looking at the dollar store because these were so inexpensive. They were like a third of the price and the same size of the, as the ones I was buying at Whole Foods. Some other snacks that I really like are pumpkin seeds, so I did end up going back the next day because I couldn't stop thinking about the pumpkin seeds. I didn't buy these nut mixes because they did have peanuts in them, but I thought they were a really great price for, you know, the size that they were. They're like a great take and go snack. Someone who is a runner, I would have taken those with me had they not had peanuts in them. This is the most basic pasta recipe, but I do have some ways to amp it up. So make sure you stay tuned all the way until I'm done making it. Plus I have a few questions to ask you at the end of this video. So don't click out just yet. So obviously I'm bringing my water to a boil. I'm adding a little salt to the water because it adds some flavor. And then I actually decided to take the mushrooms and the olives and blend them up a little bit. I do this a lot with pizza that I'm making. I do a lot of with pasta salads. I don't know if I share it every single time I do it here on YouTube. Well, I've even done this with like my salads recently because someone said that they like love chopped salads. And I was like, you know what? I think having a little bit in every single bite is just like perfect. So I decided to go ahead and do this for my pasta as well. And honestly, it was the best thing. It kind of spreads those like minimal ingredients. You are getting a little bit in every single bite. This pasta is really good. If you're wondering, I have eaten gluten-free for almost four years and there's something about being pregnant where my body has drastically changed. I might go in for another gluten sensitivity test after pregnancy. I'm not going to do it right now, but I've been able to tolerate a lot of different things that I could not tolerate prior to being pregnant. So I don't eat a ton of gluten-free options every single week, but here or there, I'll eat a few and my body seems to be completely fine. It's very, very strange. So in case you're wondering, like, hey, you say later in this video that this is your lunch, but it's not gluten-free. Yeah, I know. It's wild. I don't know. I've had a few friends that are super gluten intolerant, not celiac, repeat, not celiac. And then when they're pregnant or after pregnancy, their body just changed. So... I don't know. I, I've been able to tolerate it and you'd be just fine. So as you can see, you can add more sauce to this if you want it more saucy. This was perfect for me. And here's some ways to amp it up. Okay, if you want to take this up like 10 notches, here's what I would do. I would take this and put it in a nine by 13 glass casserole dish, put a little bit of cheese on the top and breadcrumbs, throw it in the oven at 350 or put it on broil until the cheese is either crispy or melted and it would not add very much money to this. I could have added those things to this recipe because the Dollar Tree I shop at does have like Parmesan cheese, they also had breadcrumbs, but I wanted to go super, super basic because I didn't want either of those things, but it's a great way that you can enhance this meal, add a little protein to it. I would also look at adding some chickpeas or maybe even some tofu, both things my Dollar Tree did have. So that way you can add some additional protein to this dish. Okay, something I never do is taste test here on the YouTubes, but I'm gonna do it today. This is actually lunch. I've been making a gender reveal cake this morning, so I have to get that going. I love making cakes. I'll pop up a few cakes that I've made here in the last few years, but let's give this a go. Like I said, you can totally amp this up. This is just super basic, obviously basic ingredients, but you can make this high in protein if you want to. You can make it into a casserole. A you can do whatever you want with it. But mincing up the mushrooms and the olives are a great way to kind of get a little bit with each bite. Just what I expected. This is so good. This is gonna be five servings for me because I only eat a small portion at a time. My stomach's not very big at the moment. 
if you have a Dollar Tree that has veggies, I hardly ever buy the canned veggies. I just feel like they're not worth it. But if you have the frozen section, I would definitely add some frozen green beans as a side or some frozen broccoli, maybe some frozen mixed vegetables. That would make this really, really good. Let me know, do you want me to venture into a new Dollar Tree that has a frozen and refrigerator section and try a new video like this later on next week or maybe the week after? and uh, getting you some more meal ideas, let me know down below. Thanks so much for shopping with me today and cooking with me today and all the things. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Let me know down below. Is there something that you would absolutely buy at the Dollar Tree that maybe I haven't seen or someone else needs to pick up? Let me know down below. The last time I did this, someone told me to buy a potato like root scrubber best purchase of my life literally best purchase ever let me know something that you absolutely think everyone should buy when they're at the dollar tree or look for and then we can all add those things to our list if we don't already have them have an awesome day i'll see you soon in a new video bye